Okay, I'm here with Paige. Hey, Paige. Hey, what's up, Keaton? Uh, super excited to chat to you about what's working right now for you to get clients. Yeah, well, I think it's just keeping it simple and making sure that you actually notice what a business is doing. So quick story, I actually got a puppy this year. I took him to dog training. I went and checked out some of the dog training companies that people were recommending. And I noticed that this particular trainer had a calendar to book, but it was built on Acuity. And they had a invoicing and document signing process built on Pocket Suites. And they had an old website that wasn't doing them justice. So I just started the conversation. And I... Obviously, I'm a client of theirs, but even if I wasn't, I would call in and say, hey, can I talk to the owner by first name, right? Get their phone number, text them. And I did that until we got the Zoom call uh, arranged. And, and how many texts and how many calls did it take? Not many. Uh, maybe okay. two or three texts. Then it was a quick phone call, and then we booked the Zoom call. And in the text, what do you say? I tell them that I'm here to help. I noticed that they have, so I think when sometimes people are afraid to approach businesses that seem to have some amount of tech, some amount of automation, maybe they have some systems set up already, but they're thinking, well, they're not gonna wanna upgrade. So I really focused on, hey, I see what you're doing and we can make it better to help you increase your revenue by getting more reviews, getting more clients, right? Serving those clients better. And I just used examples from things that I've experienced. So, I mean, don't be afraid to go to a company's website, fill out their information, book the consultation, see how the experience goes, and then bring suggestions to them. So I said, hey, did you guys think about maybe an email, two or three, and a text message before people arrive on their first day with their puppy? or some emails to set expectations, or some automatic emails to get reviews. And I just kicked it off that way. So, hey, I've looked at all your stuff. I had a couple ideas. Here are the ideas. Is that of interest? Yes. Oh, and actually, sorry, I skipped this part. I actually recorded that in a video, and that was in my text message. Uh, I said, I took a moment to record this for you. I have some suggestions for how we can streamline your technology and help you grow your business. Sweet. It's a little loom video there. Okay, so then once you get them on the call, what do you say to make sure that it becomes a sale? So I like to approach the Zoom call like it's already the first part of the project. It's like assuming the sale by getting started working with them. So I have this Canva, I call it my demo call Canva board, and it's like a whiteboard where it shows all of the elements they could potentially automate and consolidate in high level, and then there's sticky notes next to each one. And I just start asking questions. Well, what do you think about your website? How can we optimize that? What pages? Okay, what about your onboarding workflow? How can we automate the first couple of messages to clients? And then their ideas spark, right? And you know they're bringing me new ideas and saying, oh, but what if we could do that? And you just start to see their eyes kind of open. For example, I said, oh, and, and then in this case, once the client is sort of graduating and you're, you're gonna upsell them new things, what about we do the automated review request and then we have AI reply to those and her eyes lit up and she said, that's something that is falling to the bottom of my to-do list every single day. And I know it's important, but we're not doing it. So by the time we got off the demo call, it feels like we've already started the project, whether they've signed the project or not. And I take all the notes from the sticky notes and then put those into the custom proposal. And what do you sell that sort of like just general business operating system help with setup and then a monthly fee. What does that go for for your agency typically? In terms of pricing? Yeah. So I call it a growth website system. You know, it's like you, it's very similar to stuff yeah. that you've talked about because it's more than just a website. It's a full system for their business. Uh, it is in the high ticket side because it's custom for each business and it's built with all of their considerations in mind. So anywhere from ten to $40,000. Nice. And then the software tool, they're going to need the software anyway. That's what I'm so passionate about. And we have an opportunity with high level to get them hooked in on the software. So software anywhere from 97 to 297 and up, depending on if they're using a full suite AI or not, but just keeping it basic. Yeah. So that you sold the dog training company for 10K. <laughs> so we get 12 and a half. And people can grab the presentation that you use on your Zoom, right? Yeah, you say yeah. It? Feel free to, yeah. Grab yeah, my, my demo. put the link below. For sure, yeah. Anything for Keaton's people. I'm excited. They're actually calling me to go step on stage for the SAS panel. Let's go. Okay, <laughs> see ya. Thank that you. was awesome. <laughs>